The topic covered in this session is about professional telephone conversation skills. Using good etiquette is a way to show respect and consideration to those we interact with. There are some essential basics which we have to consider while we are in conversation on telephone. Such phrases are please and thank you. When asking the caller for something such as their name or account number, we always use with please. And if the customer or the client has given the reply, then it is necessary for us to appreciate them by using the word thank you, which is an expression of gratitude. So in this session, let's discuss about the telephonic manners, etiquette, and how do we handle our clients or customers and keep the business on a high spirit. So introduction to what is telephone etiquette at work. Telephone etiquette is having a respectful conversation with the person with whom you are talking to. It means being considerate to other people and creating room for clear communication over the phone. Good telephone manners or etiquette involves creating a pleasant impression, including visual impressions over the telephone, despite not seeing your caller face and only using limited body language. Ultimately, it means choosing your words wisely and using the right tone. So let's discuss few examples, which are very commonly used. May I have your name, please? Please hold for one moment. Thank you for your time today. Avoid using the term you and avoid such phrases. You will need to call back tomorrow. Never use you. You have to take your bill to the office. Again, never use the word you. I knew these concepts are very common phrases. So we need to avoid them. There are a few manners which we need to follow when we are placing telephone calls. Before making the call, choose the right time to call. Check the number. Plan your call. Be prepared. Check your voice quality. Because only sound is involved, friendly voice is important. Keep in mind that a telephone conversation is a unique form of oral communication. Only voices are heard. The speakers are not seen. The only impressions received are from the words and the quality of the voices. Therefore, it is extremely important that when we are speaking by telephone, we work to make our voice sound cheerful and friendly. Let's discuss a few etiquette skills for good customer service, such as greeting your client using a positive tone is important. Listen to the caller's word carefully and clarify their needs. Answer calls in a quiet environment. Handle your calls in a sincere and genuine manner. Use a language that your clients understand. Best to create a natural conversation rather than communicating over the phone using a rigid script. Use complaints to repair your client relationship rather than creating a conflict. And it is necessary to have these in your mind when you're making your call. And it is necessary to also introduce yourself and state the purpose. Example, this is Vikas from TV's company. May I speak with Mr. Shamsundar if it is a landline call? Then during the call, be courteous and establish a rapport and your voice is heard with friendliness, so put a smile in your voice. Talk as if you are in face-to-face -face conversation. Cover the points. Listen carefully. Engage in a two-sided conversation. Obtain feedback and close your call courteously. After the call, make notes, take action, and when you are receiving the call, accept the calls. Be prompt, be prepared. Use speaker phone only when appropriate and be courteous to wrong calls. If the caller has reached a wrong number, be careful and if possible, take the time to find out where they should be calling or to whom they should be speaking to. 
when you are making conversation speak clearly use proper or appropriate language avoid using technical terms and it is necessary to make a note of key points and when you are closing the conversation leave the conversation open and let the other party end the conversation before winding up the call be sure that you have answered all the questions of the callers prepare to close the conversation tell the person how much you have been worth by having a conversation and which has helped both the parties and offer a salutation and it is customary to help close the call with certain terms or phrases as have a nice day thank you for calling today have a good day and always put a professional end to the call so with this we have discussed few of those essential telephone etiquette or manners which helps us to improve our conversation with the client or customers